Okay, as you can see, I finally got done. And if you hear kids talking in the background, well, it's my kids. Now, that was my chair, too, by the way. Okay, let me go over real quick how I finish this up. And I'm not really sure what colors that's showing on your screen, but the main color of that dragon is actually purple. And I used darker colors for this one because I wanted to make it like that it was at uh, nighttime. And basically I just went over the whole entire dragon in as dark as purple as I could get it. And then I went back after I always let my stuff dry before I start going on to the next color because then they'll start running together. Um, like I said in the other video, I kind of wanted to make this look like it's an alien. Uh, an alien world. And after I done the purple what I did was I mixed a little bit of white just where it would be like a shade lighter and then I went over the highlights with that Windsor Violet Windsor Violet and then that titanium white I just mixed a little bit of it and I'm a colorful person <laughs> so I kind of like to mix a little streak here and there of the colors that I like and I think they went good in this. I, I did give the dragon a green eye to kind of break up the purples and the blues and the pinks. But even on the highlights over here in the dragon, first of all, what I do, I get just the whitest white, clean brush, clean water. And I, I don't wet my brush, but what I do is get a dry brush and this is not the one I use right now I can't find the one I had but it was a whole lot thinner and skinnier than that just enough to make like a dot and this is dry now so I'm just I'm gonna pretend like there's paint on here and I just in a like right there just you know like one two three one two three then maybe a dot just wherever the notion hits me to put it and that was with just solid white and then after I let those dry this is this was just a trial and error uh, the only three colors well really four, five colors if you count white and black the only colors I used was that Windsor Violet which is this color Windsor Violet and then um, Windsor Blue, the black and the white, and then that permanent magenta. Well, now I take that back there, that green color. Uh, I'm not sure it was the Windsor Newton color, but right now, as you probably know what I'm fixing to say, I can't find that tube of paint. Oh, no, there it is. I was getting to say, I can't find that tube of paint. It was called Permanent Green Middle. First of all, what I did, I just I didn't know what color I was going to do the eye. At first I was going to do it blue and I thought, no, I got enough blue. So I just painted that eye totally black to begin with. And then after it dried, then I just put me a, I call it a swoosh, a swoosh of green in there and let that dry and then got just solid white and dabbed it in there just a little bit with a dry brush. And then after that dried, I kind of went back over it with a very, very, very watered down layer of green and white. So it was like two or three shades lighter than what that original color was. And then that makes it pop up really good. And that's what I was going to say up here too. You know, where I was going like this, you know, just putting a couple highlights in here and there. I would get, I got the permanent magenta and a lot of white and I really watered it down almost to the consistency of like a, watercolor and then after the white was completely dried I daubed the brush off a little bit because I didn't want it to you know start running but um 
on the purple highlights, I used that permanent magenta and the white kind of mixed together very, 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 very thin watered down. And then I went back over it a little bit, you know, just in a couple of places that I really wanted to pop out and do that. And my personality, I wasn't going to do this, but I just, I can't help it. Um, I always get a very ultra fine point black uh, Sharpie and I go over every everything in the picture really even the ones in the background and I just make little designs in there according to the way that paints laid in there because I just haphazardly and I don't know why I do that that's just that's just the way I do things but as you can tell I might kind of be starting to repeat myself because I'm actually I got quite tired after painting this and that just goes to show you I worked on this well the other three or four videos how many ever I made and of course it did take longer because I was talking while I was doing it but when I'm just painting even I didn't film what time I didn't film and I actually sat here painting this I have actually been working on it right now what part I've not filmed for two and a half hours so that just goes to show you you know how much work that you know I put in to my paintings and stuff like that um now of course that was because too that was with acrylic paint if I hadn't have done that with the acrylic paint and I would have done that with like watercolor it wouldn't have took near that long not not anywhere near um but I've got some fans who like my acrylic and then I've got some who like the colored pencils and then I have some who like you know the the markers and the ink and stuff like that I try to I try to do something you know once every other time or whatever to you know what somebody else you know might like so the next one I work on since I've done this one on an acrylic I'll probably work on a simple marker and ink or maybe a watercolor and ink next and what I was seeing in the other video um I think I don't know if it was the one prior to this one or the second one but anyway um I how I learned how to draw because I didn't go to college for art but um, the way I learned how to draw and this is very very <laughs> very I can't believe I'm fixing to tell my secret but I'm going to anyway especially with fairies it was always my dream when I was a little girl to animate for Walt Disney that was my dreams but now I'm doing the next best next best thing I'm not working for anybody I'm just doing this as a hobby and doing it for myself and you know selling it every now and then but uh, when I was young how I learned how to draw I don't think I can you know draw fantastic but especially if you're interested in drawing fairies or dragons um, with the fairies what I did was back when I was little we used to have a uh, coloring books that had tracing paper on the inside of them you know paper that you could see through and if you if you will just get a coloring book you know any kind of coloring book and just practice you know tracing it tracing it tracing it tracing it tracing it because eventually you will be able to draw something without tracing it it's just learning how to you know fix the shapes and line it up and you know just whatever but that is honestly how I learned how to draw and it was Walt Disney coloring books you know with my fairies and stuff uh, for dragons um, I never really to me dragons are very challenging to me and that, that's how come it probably took me a whole lot longer to do that if that, if that would have been a fairy I'd have probably had that whipped out in you know maybe two hours but um, to me dragons are challenging 
um, and it takes me extra long time because I don't you know paint those all the time um, but to me a real good reference is like uh, go to your local library and get your dinosaur book because to get their structure down especially a t-rex or a velociraptor <laughs> those two dragon or those two dragons those two dinosaurs really really you know help me get my configuration right as far as dragons and uh the only time that's the only time i look at dinosaur books is when i'm you know working with dragons but anyway um i will probably put this I've not decided yet. I'm so tired. <laughs> I just got tired. Um, now, this, if you can see this, on eBay, if anybody's interested, um, that's my eBay handle. It's Colorful Cartoonist. That's my eBay handle. Um, I, my, my store is called The Art of Ronnie P. Barton, I believe. But my name is spelled R-O-N-N-E. I know that's not grammatically correct, but that's how I spell my name. So if you type that in the search line, R-O-N-N-E, -N -E, um, you'll be able to pull up my stuff. Or you should be able to, but anyway. Okay, I've got to, I'm going to take this little card outside. I don't know if I'll put it on auction or if I'll just put it up for sale. I might even wait till tomorrow. Um, but anyway, so, okay. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'll have for you in the next video. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So, see you next time.